Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nintendo and I make videos on construction, lifestyle and travel. On today's video, I'm going to be giving you, or first year students, tips on how to survive their first year in construction. First of all, congratulations, you made it. You are in first year, you're in big school, you're an adult now. Let's get right on into the video. I want you to make it your first and most top priority. Go to class, attend class. First three months, I'm um, thinking this is not going to be a problem. But later on, you'll see. You'll start feeling the, do I really have to go? But yes, make classes your top, 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 number one priority. Point number two is aim for 100% attendance. This is pretty much like the first point. Um, sometimes you don't feel like going to class. Sometimes you feel like the lecturer is not really helpful. They're just going through the notes and all of that. But make the effort to go to class, even if you just sit there and listen somehow i believe that you are absorbing information that will be helpful in an exam <laughs> somewhere in the future about something you didn't study but something that you heard in class so aim just for yourself as well just so you feel good about yourself aim to attend a hundred and ten percent of your classes even when you don't feel like it even if you're running late rather attend let's say the second period try to get in if you can but aim for a hundred percent attendance hand in your assignments on time i never even feel like there's a there's a there's a time lapse or gap like I, for me this was the date and if i didn't make it then i didn't get the mark so i'm hoping that you also have the same mindset so hand in your assignments on time study twice as much as you think you need to study i know it's going to be very very overwhelming especially when you have all these courses that all the lecturers are going to be like this is your very important course this, so what you can do then with this point is like start earlier on um, read through the chapters, summarize, rewrite notes, and every day just try to make time to read a specific portion of the course material so that when the time comes for the exam, you have retained some information. This is definitely gonna help. Nothing, nothing beats studying, to be honest with you. Like, <laughs> that is a formula to passing varsity study. study. Do not plagiarize. I don't think that this is gonna be a problem in first year. But it starts happening when you have your research and you have to be writing in papers. Universities are so strict on this. So do not copy paste stuff from Wikipedia. Do not take past assignments. There's serious penalties like exclusion and 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 like just being yeah. I feel like nothing is as serious as exclusions. Read the material and then write what you understand about the material. Do not try to paraphrase or move words around that is a form of plagiarism it's gonna be a hard one but when you are in class put away your phone i know we are all addicted to our phones as millennials or generation x or whatever however old you are <laughs> now but like put down your phone you're not gonna die in a two three hour class the people that you need to respond to are gonna be there so yeah, put your phone away. It's also a bit rude, especially for the lecturer. Imagine you're giving a speech and people that you're talking to are just on their phones. Not cool. So put away your phones. Take notes the old-fashioned way with a notepad and paper. So when you're in class and they're talking, jot down the important points using pen and paper. And if you're not so much about pen and paper, when you get to your dorm, you can just uh, type it into your computer, which I feel like also helps with information retention. So yeah, take an active approach to your classes. This means engaging with the lecturer, asking questions and making sure that the concept that's being taught, you are clear with it. This might be harder if you're an introvert. So I would suggest that you, instead of sitting at the back, sit in front so that whatever questions that somebody asks, and it might be the same question that you have, you don't miss it. Also, you can be friends with an extrovert, write down a question, ask them to ask the lecturer and hopefully <laughs> that works out for you. But don't just sit there and die in silence. Take an active approach and sitting in front is the best way. You don't miss anything that comes from an important source, which is now the lecturer. See your professor or lecturer as an advocate. Do not be intimidated by them. They are there to help you. They are there to give you information. So yeah, they might be doctor or professor. Make the most of them. Ask questions, interact with them during office hours when you're unclear about a certain topic that you have. Actively participate in an extracurricular activity that's offered on campus. So I need to warn first years about this. When you're coming into <laughs> to varsity, you are so excited and everybody targets the first years. All these societies, they'll be there. Join this, join that. Before you join every single thing, think about what you really like and what will work for you because the work 
um the, the work that you're going to be bombarded with is also going to be overwhelming and you might not have the time to and it's just money down the drain so before deciding on that um pick one thing that really really works for you one thing that you're going to be committed to and then join that society this then helps you with the work play balance you also can make more friends you also make the most of the university experience so seek help before a problem emerges so this is one thing that when you're varsity students made fun of when i was in varsity back in my day so we had um ccdu which is uh I forgot what it stands for but it's for mental health and whether or not you're coping with varsity life so what people used to do is just like take advantage of it towards the end of the year when they realizing that oh crap i'm gonna fail so i'm gonna go to ccdu and say that i have this problem so that i can get a deferred exam and all of that but the, mm -mm. try to make it a regular thing just it's free first of all it's free you know how expensive psychologists are it's free go see one go talk to one maybe you might have issues from back home that you don't even know about um and also if you now start being overwhelmed by the workload and how things are going it might help you get a deferred exam the career guidance might also maybe pick up that this might have not been the course for you this is a privilege that you have so make the most of it use it varsity is stressful guys like i just think about what i went through ah uh, I was so stressed. Oh my gosh. What's the stress? I cry all the time. We'll go to CCDU, not when you have a problem, but just as a checkup. Some people actually have depression and they don't know. They think that it's normal the way they, th how their thoughts are panning out. They think it's normal to think about death and dying and planning it out. They think other people think that way. So just go and like check yourself out. Oh, and if there's anything that needs to be picked up, then they pick it up and, and you get some help. It's for your own good. It's like going to the gym, really. Going to the gym for your brain. Use the students' psychologists. Give people the benefit of the doubt. So you might come from a certain type of school and you look down or look up or feel intimidated by different types of people who come from different backgrounds. And then you want to be friends with this certain type of person because it relates more to where you come from. But this is a chance for you to expand out of that shallowness embrace the diversity that university brings you and open your mind up to making friends that are not like you and i think that's the you, you'll just meet some wonderful people and learn. don't be afraid to drop a class sometimes you can see that oh my gosh this is not going my way and there's no saving myself from this one just to <laughs> that i should have done this just to um be real with yourself Drop it before you have to go through the exam. You don't need that much stress, especially when you realize that the odds are against you. You need like 94% to, to pass. So be realistic and then make peace with yourself. Deregister it. You don't have to write the exam. You can take it up again next year. It's not a train smash. It sucks, but it's not a train smash. So don't be afraid to make that decision and then go into it knowing what to expect now. Stay healthy. This is my favorite one and this is one of the hardest ones to keep. I personally like things i like being active so i joined swimming at some point i would jog with my friends at some point although i wasn't consistent with these things i'd always um i was always impressed by myself for trying at least trying like some people don't even try so stay well connected with your family this is so important sometimes when you're in varsity you are trapped in this world where you feel like this is it like if this doesn't go my way, I'm going to die. There's nothing more to this. And this is how I feel like there's such a high rate of suicides in varsity and the pressure. Call home. Call your family. Talk to them. I think I've got the best mother in the world. My mom, I'd call her and be like, I'm so tired. I don't know what to do. I'm not, this is not going my way and stuff. And then she'd say, take a nap. Treat, la, la. My mom always suggested a nap, like a nap. So, <laughs> so everything. So every time I'd call, she'd be like, la, 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 la. and then you can, you know, continue studying and doing all of that. But then talking to her also reminded me that there's another world out of this. This is not life. This is not it. Breathe. There's more to life family is very important make the effort to actually know your professor or your lecturers and that they know you this is one thing that i didn't do this is why i sometimes hate being an introvert like you just don't want to you don't like people <laughs> so i wish i had created some bonds with some of my lecturers so that now i can use them as references for my future application make an academic reference 
for the future. So take advantage of opportunities that present themselves to you. Don't just strive to be a student. Varsity has a lot of events that happen. You have like women in construction, high tea, you have green building seminars and all of that. So take advantage of doing all those things as well. Being at school is not just about developing your academic life. I mean, and you need to have some social skills, make some connections early on. And also this just helps you seize opportunities that might come your way. You might be part of a program and you exchange with the students that's in a different country for a certain period of time and that will be a life-changing opportunity for you. So take opportunities that present themselves to you. Don't just bury yourself in books. Lastly, remember, you've got this. Hopefully you make some wonderful friends that have a positive impact in your life and you just come out a better person, a person who's well-rounded. And all the best to you. You've got this. You can do it. Congratulations. Don't be nervous. It's really not that bad.